this girl is on fire. Fire! What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of Attack once again. No matter what the doctors tried to tell you my real name is, don't listen to them. Today we have yet another Talking Head video, but we may as well start calling them Talking Ethereum videos because if we make videos regarding anything else, including Bitcoin, they just don't get the views. Are you missing that notification bell? Have you subscribed to the channel yet? Make sure you have because we talk about a lot of different altcoins and Bitcoin to help educate you on the entire market, not just Ethereum. Today we're going to be talking about Israel though and Ethereum and Israel's central banking system adopting Ethereum for the digital shekel right after a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Surfshark. Surfshark offers industry-leading encryption VPN service with over 3,200 servers worldwide in 65 different countries. Use Surfshark to access geo-restricted sites including YouTube, Netflix, and to watch your favorite shows with their strict no-logs policy. I use Surfshark to access geo-restricted crypto tools like Binance Smart Chain to stay up to date with where the industry is headed. It is available for all platforms including Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, and many others. You can use one subscription to protect every device in your house with a 30-day money-back guarantee. With money-back guarantee and 24-7 customer support, don't hesitate to try it out. Use the referral link in the description and promo code SONOFATECH for up to 83% off when signing up. Welcome back. So we are going to read the entire article because it's short and I think that you guys need it for reference. The Bank of Israel is trying out Ethereum's technology in a recently launched internal digital shekel trial, a spokesman said. In May, the central bank issued a report concluding that the digital payment system could have a positive impact on the economy by simplifying payment processes while providing security to both parties in a transaction. The bank has also put out a call for smart application ideas that could run on the digital infrastructure. Monetary authorities from Sweden to China are working on their own digital currencies as the dwindling use of notes and coins threatens to upend traditional payment methods. The emergence of cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin has added pressure on central banks to ensure they have a viable alternative before unregulated payment forms take over. Ethereum was the first blockchain to host fully functioning computer programs known as smart contracts that allow users to create new cryptocurrencies. And this is a little odd. We should clarify it's not technically like full on side chains here. More than likely this digital shekel trial will be on top of Ethereum. I would assume something like an ERC20 token. Let me know in the comment section below if that's kind of how you're reading into this situation as well. Now, one of the notes that I did see coming from the spokesman in another article did clarify that they need to integrate this with, of course, central banks. And if you have been in cryptocurrency long enough, you know that this is kind of against the principles of cryptocurrency. You see, Bitcoin is based on a trustless system. Trustless means no banks, essentially. At the end of the day, no third parties being able to contract between peers, peer to peer without the interference of a third party, whether that be a central bank or a government and so on. Now, of course, this is problematic in a lot of countries because of taxation and wherever you stand on that line may determine how you feel about this in particular. And I'll let you go from there. But if we are basing it on the principles of crypto from the very, very beginning, then, you know, we probably don't really want our banks getting involved that much. But it is the way it is. I equate it to this, which is the Ford Motor Company initially putting hitches for horses onto the new Ford cars or motor cars because there weren't enough gas stations and you needed a horse to tow you to the next gas station if you in fact did run out of gas. That was resolved with infrastructure such as gas stations on every corner where you could go and fill up your car pretty much all the time without the need of a horse to get you there. 
That being said, of course, we need those traditional banking systems to kind of just get our cryptocurrency out and usable into a fiat currency, at least until it's you know, common for you to go to the store and pay with your cryptocurrency wallet. Remember, not your keys, not your wallet. So you want to make sure that you have that all in your own control and avoid payment systems that do not actually allow you to do that. This has been a problem for cryptocurrency since its in inception, especially once regulation started coming down and they really want to track the incoming and outgoing transactions for you know, probably taxation purposes more than likely at the end of the day. And it is what it is. This is an interesting move from Israel though, and could be positive for Ethereum in the long run because the more things that are built onto Ethereum, the better it is for Ethereum. This could also be better for, you know, cryptocurrency as a whole, at least from the perception of large investors as opposed to our typical retail investors who are using it as a store of value to protect from inflation because keep in mind of course you have issues with inflation with digital currencies even more than you probably would with a paper currency because at that point they can just print as much of the digital fairy dust as possible and not take into account the ramifications that may happen as a result. Now, I don't know where I personally stand on this in particular. It's one of those things where I'm excited that Ethereum is being utilized, that cryptocurrency is coming to the forefront, and the, there is a hints of mass adoption. If countries are starting to utilize it to settle transactions for their central banking systems, and they are using something like Ethereum as opposed to building their own currency, that does seem like a positive thing. On the other side, when I get conflicted with the whole principles of crypto and a trustless system, I say, well, this particular one's not for me. I am super interested in what you guys think about this sort of move. I know we've talked about, you know, XRP in the past and some concerns with the way they integrate. We've talked about, I think, beat the dead horse as much as possible as far as trustless, decentralized, that sort of thing. Are you willing to give up, you know, trustless for decentralization? Does it not matter as much? Like, Here's my thought too. Is it okay to have those currencies built on top of Ethereum as long as Ethereum remains its own separate thing, right? So that's one of the thoughts, right? Is all the countries could just have different Ethereum tokens sitting on top of the Ethereum blockchain that interact with other currencies that do other things in a less centralized, trustless manner, then that just makes it easier for you to convert to that fiat currency because at that point you're just doing a swap from say like, I don't know, uh, Ethereum, let's just say wrapped Ethereum to wrapped shekel and then you can cash that out into your, your fiat central banking system in of course uh, Israel or whatever and maybe making that process easier. This could just end up being a good thing. Kind of an interim step between, you know, a full on worldwide accepted digital currency and a traditional system. I think that could definitely be a positive thing. Let me know what you guys think. Once again, I am going to talk about Ethereum more on the channel, <laughs> but we have some Ravencoin coming up for you guys along with, of course, some more mining content, some vlogging content. I will be moving into my mining farm on July 1st, so there's going to be a lot of stuff going on there. I'm going to try to pre-prep some videos so that you guys have some content. I am actually going to go out and try to figure out a desk setup and everything for my test bench because we want to test some mining on Windows 11, and I am so far behind the ball that I have not gotten to that yet. So lots of fun stuff coming up. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can watch more by clicking this playlist up here or go ahead and subscribe.